Today, 12 years after the Rwandan genocide, women from all sectors of society are taking a leading role in helping their country recover. Even at the height of the atrocities in 1994, it is heartening to remember that Rwanda was the home of people of extraordinary compassion and fortitude. I saved them. It's by God's grace that I had such courage. During the killings, whenever I saw Tutsi women and men, I would whistle as a signal for them to come and hide in my small compound. But the Hutu militia grew suspicious and started to question Sula, an 87-year-old Hutu woman and local traditional healer. Who do you have in the house? The Hutu militia demanded. I told the militia that the people I had in the house were fellow Hutus, and they went away. And then I threatened them, saying I would put a bad spell on them. <laughs> she was a heroine. What she did was very difficult and rare in those days. I think God worked through her. I'm alive, but many others died. Sula Karuhimbi is now promoting the Tolerance and Justice Government Initiative in the Great Lakes region. In 2006, the president of Rwanda, Paul Kagame, formally recognized Sula as a national hero for saving many lives during the genocide. In Rwanda's new parliament, women now make up 40% of legislators. That places Rwanda second after Sweden in having the largest percentage of women parliamentarians. Aloysia Inyumba, the first general secretary of the National Unity and Reconciliation Commission, is now a senator. She is proud to see women increasingly taking on key positions. The deputy commissioner of police is a woman. The head of revenue authority is a woman. The deputy governor of the bank is a woman. The head of tourism promotion is a woman. I think this is a very big demonstration to you that our government is committed to gender promotion and they very much appreciate the role we can bring at the table with our brothers. In the area of women's rights in Rwanda, 50-year-old Godeliva Mkasarasi has been a front runner. She is the initiator of Sevota, an association bringing together Rwandan women. The main reason for initiating the association was that after the genocide, the widows, the orphans and the other genocide survivors were isolated and traumatized and could get together to discuss and to find support and compassion. Godeliva has also successfully campaigned for the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda to recognize the violence against women as part of the first category crimes. For her activity, she received three international awards. I do not want to become a politician. I want to become a lawyer in order to defend vulnerable women and children. My dream is to be a lawyer one day in an international court. According to Rwandan Senator Weralz Gesamajera, Women who are now in decision-making roles have excelled. And I could say that wherever uh, you find they are, they, are, they are performing, their performance is most cases even higher than that of men. Wherever they are active, as mothers or professionals, in key positions or not, the Rwandan women are always bringing their courage and sensibility in the daily reconstruction of the nation. Oh,